sombrero allows you to be able to roll it down. Okay? you guys and today we are here to talk about the topic of losing your virginity now I know what you're thinking okay that's a very it's a very vulgar topic but I've been kind of battling about whether I was gonna do this video or not because I always have a lot of my subscribers who are comfortable enough to send me emails video messages DMs on Instagram asking me for advice and for some reason this topic kept coming up and for all the parents who are probably watching and gonna judge me. I really don't give a fuck because you guys already judge me all the time. But I'm not sitting here talking about this topic to advocate or condone your children or child having sex. But obviously if they're watching this video, there's some information that they wanna get and I'm gonna give it to them. For the person watching this video, I'm not about to show you or teach you how to bend it over, bust it open, and throw it back for a real nigga. No, I just want everybody to be informed and educated about the health risks, about prevention, contraceptive prevention, all of the things that come with being sexually active. But if I help one person before they get pregnant or get an STI or something like that, my job is done. And I have a phone call. Mom. Do you have anything to say about becoming sexually active, safety, all that type of stuff? I do. Okay, go ahead. The first thing that you want to keep in mind, and I swear to God it's true, I am not fucking around and being silly. You never know true love until you've given birth to a child. Mom. But anybody, no, listen to what I got to say. So every time you choose a partner, most oftentimes you think that it's someone that you're in love with. It takes a lifetime to get to know someone, and it probably will take you at least six months. I mean, things happen quick nowadays. At least six months to get to know a person. If they're not willing to wait, don't put yourself out there. But when you finally choose someone and you're in that, if you could give yourself that six-month waiting period, you want to choose someone that has the, the capacity to become your friend. All right, that's enough. That's, that was great. We loved it, Mom. Woo! Yay! All right, I got to go. Oh my god, what's wrong with you? You invite me on your show and then you shut me down. I don't give a fuck. And when I tell your brother, he's gonna tap that ass. I gotta. Oh. Nine times out of ten, when you go to someone who's older than you for advice, their advice is simple about sex. You're going to get pregnant and you will die. You're going to croak. Me, on the other hand, I'm not gonna tell you guys that, okay? So. If you are someone who is thinking about moving forward with that step, or even if you're not thinking about it right now, it is something that you'll think about in the future, there are a couple of things you need to know. And the first thing that I want to say about it is, your time is your time, okay? When I was in high school, all of my friends seemed to start having sex around the same time, and it made me feel kind of left out or like I was like a late bloomer or, you know, just... It kind of just made me feel like I wasn't moving at the pace that I should have moved. But me waiting for the time that I felt was right was one of the best decisions that I'll ever make. Because every one of my friends pretty much who did have sex early, they faced a possible pregnancy or they faced an abortion. They faced getting an STI. They faced just a lot of stuff that they didn't think could happen to them. Everybody always thinks, oh, it can't happen to me. If you're someone who's thinking about taking that step, don't follow the crowd, okay? Don't be someone who decides to have sex just because it's the hot new trend. Even if you don't care about it being super special with rose petals and stuff like that, it's something that you won't get back and it's something that whoever you decide to share that moment with, you want to make sure that it's a really, really, really important person in your life, okay? You don't just want to give it to, to Bill, the guy on the corner. Like, you don't want to do that. Okay? Second of all, when it comes to being safe, Condoms are your best bet, but nowadays you can't just rely on one form of contraception. And when I say contraception, contraception is just, it's protection, basically. So, what you need when it comes to having sex to keep yourself safe is two things. These are those two things. This is a condom, and a guy puts it on his schling schlong, okay? And for the little boys who are watching this, if you are somebody who's already sexually active, you need to learn how to, here, you know what? 
show y'all something. This, this little guy right here, this is a condom. Now, this is called a sombrero, okay? When you're about to put a condom on, you need to make sure that it's sombrero style, which means this little guy right here, the tip of the condom is facing up. Okay, and this part right here that you're gonna roll on down has to you have to make sure it's the right way so you can roll it down. Okay, now if it's the wrong way, you're gonna have to try a little harder. This is called a beanie. A beanie is the wrong way to put a condom on because you can't roll it down. Okay, this is this is the wrong way. Beanie is wrong. If it looks like a little top to a bottle, it's wrong. Sombrero kind of sticky. Hold on. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me, there we go. Sombrero. Sombrero is right because sombrero allows you to be able to roll it down. Okay. They work. Okay. These work. It's just, this is old. This is, um, these things stretch forever. They stretch forever. I have nails, so it's going to break no matter what, but. They really do work, you guys. You guys, you. you they really do work. <laughs> when you're getting ready to have sex, you have to make sure that you have a condom. A condom is the only thing that will prevent you from a sexually transmitted infection or disease, as well as pregnancy, Unless a condom breaks, okay? Now, when a condom breaks, this is your best friend. Ladies, if you don't know what this is, and guys, if you don't know what this is, this is birth control. This is an oral contraception, an oral protection. And oral contraception does not protect you from STIs. This only protects you from becoming pregnant. And I always recommend for people who are just now beginning to have sex and stuff like that, I always recommend getting the pill. When you decide that you're responsible enough to be having sex with someone, you also have to be responsible enough to be getting tested regularly. You can never trust people when it comes to having unprotected sex. You can never trust anybody unless you guys go together and get tested together. And that's another thing that comes with becoming sexually active. They recommend that you get tested every six months. I recommend you get tested every three to six months. You know I'm all about my bread. You know I want that check. And you know where in my head.